Good morning, folks. First, our Electric and Plasma Lab director, Billy Elverton, will watch his daughter, Tana, walk across the stage today and graduate. Congratulations. Today we're looking at space weather. Another large earthquake strikes. We look to the far side of our star for some forecasting, check out a tropical storm aiming at the U.S. East Coast, and find amino acids in a comet. But first, we're at spaceweathernews.com in the last 24 hours on our star. We're very calm. Dark coronal hole, turning out of view, filaments are stable, and so are the sunspots. Virtually nothing to speak of on the X-ray flux, but with sunspots like this, we're not really surprised. New grouping has some work to do, to be sure. Solar wind here. Coronal hole stream speed is peaking, and although we don't have geomagnetic storms from the event, near-Earth space has seen large energetic flux, and over at Karuna, we registered level 1 and level 2 storms. So indeed, those coronal holes are starting to exit, but even without them on the disk now, Saturn is now five days from opposing the sun and the earthquakes are still surging. Fiji again, 6.6 .6 this time, hopefully not building to an even bigger one. Also saw some moderate rumbles in Peru and the central Atlantic, one above average off California coastlines as well. Let's do a full solar sphere analysis with zero facing Earth, and you can see we're blank until those bright sunspots swing in the next two or three days. Big dark coronal hole on the north after that, having turned to the far side. Couple days of fewer solar features here. Comet 67P, Rosetta's information bounty can't stop giving. They have now detected glycine in the comet, one of the most basic and fundamental protein components. They've also found phosphorus, and remember, the PO bond is fundamental for the backbone of DNA as well. We've got some photos here from Sinabung in Indonesia. It erupted while the coronal hole portion of the quake watch was peaking. Footprints in the ash that has covered the region. It is a total crop loss, folks. That is not a golden soccer ball. The look on the man's face carrying his dog away from the volcano really says it all. Tough to go from bad to bad here, no question about it. The high pressure system in the Atlantic is squeezing and forcing the tropical storm developing here right at the coastline. It doesn't have any other options for a track and will begin affecting the coastline today. Flooding should begin tonight. Folks, it's Saturday, so we'll have your weekly podcast available for members today in the premium content. Also think we need to do the June planets here before we actually get to June, so another deeper look is on deck this weekend as well. We've got pressure and radar in the top viewer locations, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.